The man laying down beneath his rear bumper is no ordinary guy. Keys in the middle of the road, cell phone in the middle of the road. This fella's name is Brian Pesci, and he is a police chief in New Jersey. You got a name? What's the problem? You're sleeping in the middle of the road. No. Well, your... Your pants are down. Are you diabetic? Not at all. Probably the wrong answer. Wallet in the car? So, Brian, so what's happening now is right now you're going to be placed on arrest for suspicion of DUI. Alright, you're going to go to the hospital and we're going to do a blood draw. Alright, there, there's been several calls. And another caller that, that, that saw you get out of the car and walk to the back. All right, so this officer is going to hop on the rig with you. You're going to go over to RWJ. To be more specific, Pesci is the police chief of Bordentown, a position he has held for many years. I drove somewhere. I, I, I don't know. You didn't tell me that. I'm saying that there's been other callers that have seen you driving and getting out of the car. Driving anywhere. Okay, who was driving? Okay. We have more on this story. For reference, here's Pesci when he's seen better days with his police department. Per Philly Voice, the chief of police in Bordertown was arrested last month on a drunk driving charge after he was found on the ground along a residential street in Hamilton Township. Body-worn camera footage from police at the scene reveals that 46-year-old Brian Pesci's pants were partially down when officers found him in the roadway on April 22nd. Pesci has been the Burlington County Community's chief of police since 2018 and is a 23-year police veteran. On the night of the incident, authorities in Hamilton, Mercer County, received a report of a driver weaving all over the place and nearly hitting a mailbox, according to court docs obtained by NJ.com. The woman who called police reportedly warned, he's going to kill somebody. Sometime later, the woman called 911 again to say that the driver had stopped and gotten out of his vehicle, a red Chevy Silverado pickup. She told authorities there was a man on the ground in the road who appeared to be obliviated. At about 8.20 p.m., the night Pesci was charged, Patch reports, the woman dialed 911 with the driver nearly causing a head-on collision, according to the police report. The woman also told authorities she saw the person in the truck exit the vehicle on Bruin Drive and was barely able to stand. During the stop, noticing a wet patch on the ground, the same officer suggests, with clear disgust, that he pissed on his tire, and then took a spill, the footage shows. The police chief claimed he was 35, even though he's 46, and then mumbles, what's the problem? You're sleeping in the middle of the road, one replies, while the other says, your pants are down. When one cop asks if he is a diabetic, Pesci says, not at all, with the officer replying, probably the wrong answer. What I'm going to bring to you next is a very important point, and one that should not surprise you. It will show the behavior that cops have, where, by default... 99 times out of 100, cops always, always defend their fellow cops. After the snippy exchanges, one of the officers searches Pesci's vehicle and finds his police badge and remarks, Oh, NJ.com said, referring to the hour plus footage the site obtained. Both officers then turn off their cameras, the outlet said, with their tone markedly different when the cameras are switched back on, with Pesci now being called Chief. The outlet noted. During several police interviews, Pesci allegedly told police in a slurred, slow voice that he had a few drinks 10 hours ago 
at an event honoring a Bordenton Township employee who had recently died, according to the police report. Pesci also allegedly claimed someone else was driving the truck and that person left him at the truck, according to the report. Besides the drunken driving charge described earlier, Pesci was also charged with reckless driving and careless driving, leaving the scene of an accident involving property damage and failing to report an accident, the police report said. Pesci reportedly got the police chief job in Borderton after he initially initiated an internal affairs investigation into his former boss, who this week will begin serving a 28-month prison sentence on federal hate crime charges. Frank Nassera was convicted of lying to federal authorities about attacking a black team who was in police custody. The former chief allegedly used the N-word and compared black people to the Islamic militant group Pesci has been placed on restricted duty in Bordenton Police Department amid an ongoing investigation into last month's incident.